can add expenses from various places and bill for time. When in a new expense entry, you will have some required fields and other non-required fields to choose from. The six required fields in an expense are client, which you can click in to pull down the client dropdown. You can type in the client's name, or you can add a new client from here if you have access to do so. Your project, which may say something different like matter or case or whatever the mnemonic was changed to in your settings. Expense type, which can be fully customized. Description, and your cost and sell price. Other options available are for user, which can be pulled down for users who have access to add time for other users, expense date, which can be changed to any date needed, exclude from invoice, which allows you to keep the expense for internal purposes for reporting, but does not show the expense on an invoice. And this is only available if turned on in your permissions. The reimburse box is designed for employees to be reimbursed. So if an employee paid out of pocket for an expense, they can check the reimburse box to be paid back by the employer. Percent markup, which can be set up in your settings to automatically mark up your expense costs. You also have the ability to use the calculator for an expense types that have unit prices. It will set up a unit price times your quantity to equal your cost. Receipt attachment allows you to attach receipts towards your expenses, and you can go a step further and attach those receipts on your invoices and reports as well. You have three saving options at the bottom. Save and duplicate allows you to save your entry, but keep everything filled in on your screen. This comes in handy if you have to add the same entry details over and over, or you need to add more expenses to the same client. You can make your necessary changes and save it again and again as needed. Save and New allows you to save the entry, but clear it so you can start over again. And Save and Close means to save the entry and close it down. Thank you for watching the Bill for Time Add Expense tutorial, and continue watching for the different ways to add time tutorial next.